Okay, class, today we're in section 1.4, write equations and equalities. Write equations and inequalities. Before, you translated verbal phrases into expressions. Now, you would translate verbal sentences into equations or inequalities. Key vocabulary, equation, inequality, open sentence, solutions, solution of an equation, solution of an inequality. An equation is a mathematical sentence formed by placing the symbol equal between two expressions. An inequality is a mathematical sentence formed by placing one of the symbols less than, less than or equal to, greater than, or greater than or equal to between two expressions. An open sentence is an equation or an inequality that contains an algebraic expression. Key concept, symbol, meaning associated word. Equal, meaning is equal to, associated words the same as. Less than, meaning is less than. Associated words fewer than. Symbol, less than or equal to, Meaning is less than or equal to. Associated words, at most, no more than. Symbol, greater than. Meaning is greater than. Associated words, more than. Symbol, greater than or equal to. Meaning is greater than or equal to. Associated words, at least, no less than. Combining inequalities. Sometimes two inequalities are combined. For example, the inequalities x is greater than eight, uh, 4 and x is less than 9 can be combined to form the inequality x is greater than 4, x is less than 9, which is read as x is greater than 4 and x is less than 9. x is greater than 4, x is less than 9. I'm reading from the inside to the left and then inside to the right. Example one, write equations and inequalities. Verbal sentence. The difference of twice a number K and eight is 12. Twice a number K, that means two times. Difference, that means subtraction. And of course, eight. The difference of twice a number k, 2k, minus 8 is 12. Is, as you know, is equal to. B. The product of 6 and a number n is at least 24. The product of 6 and a number n is at least 24. Product means multiplication, so that's 6 times n. At least means that's the minimum that you have. So that means you have that and more. At least is the minimum that you have. That means you have that and more. So at least 24 means 24 is the minimum, and it's going to be greater than 24. So 6 times n is greater than 24. A number y is no less than 5 and no more than 13. A number y is no less than 5 and no more than 13. So that means y, no more than 13, that means y cannot be bigger than 13, but it can be equal to 13. So y is less than or equal to 13. A number y is no less than five. That means that y is greater than or equal to five because it, can, it cannot be no less than five. So the minimum is five. So the final inequality is y is greater than or equal to five and y is less than or equal to 13. Solutions. When you substitute a number for the variable in an open sentence like x plus 2 is equal to 5 or 2 times y is greater than 6, the resulting statement is either true or false. If the statement is true, the number is called a solution of the equation or a solution of the inequality. Example 2. Check possible solutions. Check whether 3 is a solution of the equation or inequality. 
equation or inequality. A. 8 minus 2x is equal to 2. So we're going to substitute 3 in place of x. 2 times 3 is 6, and we got a negative sign. So 8 minus 6 is 2. So we end up with that 2 is equal to 2. So therefore, 3 is a solution. Okay, next we got 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 6. 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 6. In place of x, we're going to substitute our 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 minus 5 is 7. So our question is, does 7 equal 6? And of course, the answer is no. So 3 is not a solution for this particular equation. All right, next, uh, we have C. 2 times z plus 5 is greater than 12. So we substitute out 3 for the z. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. So does 11, is 11 greater than 12? And the answer is no. Is 11 greater than 12? The answer is no. So 3 is not a solution here also. Next we have 5 plus 3 times n is less than or equal to 20. 5 plus 3 times n is less than or equal to 20. So in place of n, we put out 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 plus 9 is 14. 5 plus 9 is 14. Is 14 less than or equal to 20? Is 14 less than or equal to 20? And the answer should be yes. All right, once again, 5 plus 9, that's 14. And is 14 less than or equal to 20? The answer is yes. So therefore, 3 is a solution. Example 3. Use meant the math to solve an equation. Equation x plus 4 is equal to 10. Think, what number plus 4 equals 10? Solution, 6. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. 20 minus y is equal to 8. Think, 20 minus what number is equal to 8? Solution, 12. 20 minus 12 is 8. Equation, 6 times n is equal to 42. Think. 6 times what number equals 42? Solution, 7. 6 times 7 is 42. Equation, D. A divided by 5 equals 9. Think. What number divided by 5 equals 9? Solution, 45. 45 divided by 5 equals 9. Example 4. Solve a multi-step problem. Mountain bikes. The last time you and three friends went to a mountain bike park, you had a coupon for $10 off and paid $17 for four tickets. What is the regular price of four tickets? If you pay the regular price this time and share it equally, how much does each person pay? Solution. Step one. Write a verbal model. Let P be the regular price of four tickets. Write an equation. Regular price minus amount of coupon equals amount paid. Regular price, we're going to call that P. The amount on the coupon, that was $10. The amount paid was $17. So we're working with the equation P minus 10 is equal to 17. Step 2. Use mental math to solve the equation P minus 10 is equal to 17. Think. 10 less then what number is 17? Because 27 minus 10 is 17, the solution is 27. The regular price for four tickets is $27. Step three, find the cost per person. Step three, find the cost per person. $27 divided by four equals $6.75 per person. Each person pays $6.75. And 75 cents. Example 5. Write and check a solution of an inequality. Basketball. A basketball player scored 351 points last year. If the player plays 18 games this year, 
Will an average of 20 points per game be enough to beat last year's total? Solution. Step one. Write a verbal model. Let P be the average number of points per game. Write an inequality. Number of games times points per game is greater than total points last year. Number of games times points per game is greater than total points last year. Number of games, 18. Points per game, we don't know, so we're going to call it the variable P. And that's going to be greater than the total points he made last year, which is 351. Step two, check that 20 is a solution of the inequality 18P is greater than 351 because 18 times 20 is equal to 360 and 360 is greater than 351 20 is a solution an average of 20 points per game will be enough okay let's get started with today's assignment 